We out here for the people, nigga. Yeah. Ay. And I came to spit the game, no. The fucking ass. Oh, yes. Today is a beautiful day. I'm happy as fuck to be up in here doing this. Y'all niggas already know how I get down. Nothing but good game when I come around. Ball smack top soil. Do to make it better. Go get her. <laughs> y'all know how I get down the ball smack. Top soil is in the building for y'all motherfuckers. Spit this game, man. You know. The show is brought to you by Ball Smack Streetwear. Go through Ball Smack Streetwear and cops Ball Smack Streetwear right now. You know what I'm saying? Offensive type shit right there. If you bitch, you let you wear it. Cause some of y'all niggas can't rock that shit cause your bitch won't let you. But look, cop something like this, go out with your kids and family, man. You know, I just fucked with you, man. Happy to be here, happy to be doing this type of shit right now. Also, the show is brought to you by Ball Smack Top Soil, giving you game. If y'all niggas need some game out there, cause you're struggling with your bitch, especially right now after coming off of the corona, the pandemic, uh, uh, lockdown, and niggas out here scamming, getting money and shit, stealing your bitch. Some help, you need some game. Holla at the boss, man. Top soil, and I'll bless you, man. Overlook your shit, tell you what I got, what, what you can do, what it work for you, man. And you know how we do go race this great. You understand me? You gotta be thinking sometimes, like, man, like, uh, sometimes that game that you pay for might save your long term expenses, like lawyer fees and broken car windows. If you need game, holla at me. All right, now. God bless everybody, man. Summertime right now. Summertime right now, even though not summertime officially, though, but it's summertime right now. Vibrations outside, everybody outside living. I'm just, I see nothing but happiness and joy out there in the streets, bitches. It's out there naked right now. Niggas is out there dressed it in their best. It is really going up right now. Good vibrations all around, man. Also, them niggas is out there uh, with plenty of violence to go with that. So you got to keep your head on the swivel. Keep your head on the swivel. Be looking around, man. Be, be mindful of your environment out there, young niggas, man, especially in them urban environments, man, niggas just out there in places like, 
like bombed in Los Angeles, man. Uh, you understand me, yay area. You understand me, Milwaukee, Atlanta, D.C., New York, man, St. Louis, man, Austin, Texas, man, even off in Arizona and different places, man, it's going up right now. Y'all niggas be careful. Memphis too, shit. Nashville, goddammit. Alabama and shit. <laughs> niggas is going up right now. Yeah. I love y'all niggas, man. That's why I be doing this shit, man. This podcast shit is a blessing and an honor, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So right now, let me get into this shit, man. Niggas in the motherfucking nose. Niggas in the motherfucking nose, man. And um, today, man. You know, first, another another thing I want to say, man, is niggas is going to get this. This should be out quick, this show. But I just want to apologize to some niggas out there, man, because the boss Mac is kind of behind on some of these orders, man. I, You know, when we... When we did the Sigma, we got hit hard. We got hit hard with a lot of orders. And that's a blessing. I ain't mad at that. I'm, you know, I'm trying to take care of niggas. I want niggas to have some shit. You know what I'm saying? Really, I just, I just appreciate niggas even wanting to wear any of my shit. You feel me? So, you know, I ain't trying to be making no excuses or nothing like that. But the boss, Mac Topsoil, was in a major car accident and barely, I, I don't even know how I walked away, man. But a nigga did get hurt it a little bit of back injury. You know, I had to, you know, I thought I was, hey, I managed to do a couple of podcasts. Them was hard. I, I was going to do a podcast the night that the nigga, I got hit by the car. I was going to do a podcast that night, and I couldn't do it. I was like, what the fuck, nigga? I get, I'm injured like a motherfucker, man. But anyway, them shits will be out, man. I just want to apologize to niggas, man. Y'all niggas don't be mad. And whenever I'm late on shit, I always put extra in there on the strength. Because it ain't even about profit for me like that. I'm just trying to get niggas they shit and do good business and be blessed. You feel me? All right. Niggas in the motherfucking nose. Niggas in the motherfucking nose, man. And today, man, I got a this nigga right here, man. I gotta I gotta speak upon this nigga, man. And I've been about to speak upon this nigga uh multiple times, but I I, I, I always stop because in a way, I don't want to say that I like the nigga, but I just don't want to be hating on the nigga. Because I, I know the nigga, uh, at the core of his being, he got good intentions. Even though he ain't. I don't think he the motherfucker he portray. And I'm talking about Dr. Boyce motherfucking Watkins, nigga. Dr. Boyce sucker Watkins. You understand me? Dr. Boyce sucker Watkins. Now, I know a lot of motherfuckers, man, listening to the ball smack top. So you may or may not know who Dr. Boyce Watkins is, but you know Dr. Boyce. He be out there with his financial advice, man, pro-black. You understand me? Uh, you know, motherfucker trying to help type shit. You feel me? Now, I always, I, you know, I, he be saying some good financial shit sometimes. But basically, you know, hey, man, let's be real, man. Boyce Watkins is a motherfucking nerd out here, man. You a whole motherfucking nerd ass nigga that um finally 
have been able to achieve some type of uh, fame and type of shit. You understand me, nigga? I know it. See, I know what kind of niggas. Nigga, I know what kind of nigga you is, nigga. Come on now, nigga. You one of them niggas. Dr. Boyce Watkins is one of them niggas that didn't have no bitches. You understand me? And when you got a bitch, she shit it on you. And fuck with them real niggas. And that's why you don't like real niggas. You understand me? I know. I see it in you. Dr. Boyce, I woke up the other morning, man. And I knew this nigga was on the verge of this. I knew. I know y'all niggas think ball smack tripping right now. But I knew this nigga was on the verge of this. I woke up the other morning and Boyce Watkins is having a whole sucker attack rant about Kwame Brown. Like, like just. So, uh, so there's this guy named Kwame Brown. And Kwame Brown, I did not know anything about this dude. Kwame, I just knew he was uh, the number one draft pick in the NBA draft back in the day. Michael Jordan picked him. I know that they made fun of him because they considered him to be a bust and uh, all these other things, right? They said, oh, he's not that good or whatever. I didn't care. I was never the guy who attacked him. I never sat around thinking about the fact that Kwame wasn't as good as they thought he was going to be. I just knew that this was the conversation in sports. But I didn't really care, right? So 20 years later, Kwame pops up on the internet. He's doing these videos, and suddenly he kind of pops off, blows up, you know, and I, I, again, I still didn't care because I don't really watch YouTube videos. And, uh, but everyone seemed to like what he was talking about. You know, he's, uh, he does this thing called mama's cooking and he likes to roast people and stuff like that. And that's not my thing uh, because I'm not really, I know that the best way to be popular on the internet is to be a comedian. And the reason I think that that's true is because people see the black man as a joke. This, this weirdest shit I ever heard, man, talking hella shit about Kwame Brown at four o'clock in the morning type shit. Uh, it's what I call the nigga net. <laughs> I never wanted to be part of the nigga net. I never wanted to be part of the nigga tree that exists on the, on the nigga net. Uh, just this really ridiculous backward thinking uh this sort of like like i'm gonna get on here and yell and scream and that's the same as actually making progress some of y'all in here right now have more money in your pocket because of things that i have shared with you i have i've done the work i've done the work so to somehow come in with this interpretation that i'm somehow part of the elite it's the most crazy thing i've ever seen i'm like what fucking elite am i a part of did i go to the nba and get and white have white people pay me 64 million dollars to play basketball do you know that if I had had six white people pay me $64 million to play basketball, do you know how much I could have done with that money? I had to build this on my own. I had no help. White people don't give me anything. So what are you talking about? I Again, I, I get it, right? Okay, you got the go along, get along gang, that whole thing, and that's all fun and good. But it's like, I'm not, I don't work for ESPN. And I like listening to this shit. I'm like, oh, this nigga's killing himself right here, bro. He like really, this nigga is really, this nigga really. So when I hear that shit, like, you know, boys going to intersect itself into the Kwame Brown drama. Niggas is, inter niggas is putting themselves into the Kwame Brown shit. Niggas is putting they self in the Kwame Brown shit. And then when Kwame Brown qu clown you, niggas can't handle it. Niggas can't handle it. And I'm going to tell you what happened to Boyce. See? See, Boyce, he just got married, right? To a bitch with two kids that ain't his. So you already know he a sucker. You a sucker when you do that. Any man listening to me right now. You don't have no kids. And you marry a bitch with two kids. This, you got to be pops too. You a sucker. 
Period. Comment in my shit if you don't like what I said, nigga. Boys, bitch. See, she put the fire under that nigga. And that made him react in such a fashion to this Kwame Brown shit. I'm trying to told you, man. See, a lot of pressure at the house right there. Her friends is on her head. You understand me? Making a hot pan at his crib. His feet, he hopping around that. Hop, hopping around until he get on the motherfucking, get on go live and say some sucker shit. Dr. Boyce Watkins said some shit about Snoop Dogg a while back, and I was looking at him, so I was like, hey, man, this nigga Boyce Watkins over here sounding like a motherfucking, like he don't like real niggas. Every time I hear him talk, he don't like real niggas. That's what it seemed like to me, like a nigga don't like real niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Boyce Watkins is a sucker, man. That was some sucker shit. Shout out Kwame Brown, man. Um, I don't know. Then, then Boyce, Boyce, Boyce gonna sit up there and say that that Kwame Brown is like Jim Jones. The the motherfucker, not the rapper, the Jim Jones that went and made all the church members kill themselves and kill themselves. I'm gonna attack him today. I'm gonna get him today. Oh, Mom was cooking, right? You can attack everybody but yourself. You can you can criticize everybody but yourself, right? Everybody's fucked up except for you. Well, I'm sorry. You know what, people? You know what that's called? That's called a demagogue. That's demagoguery. That's some Umar Johnson type shit. That's some uh, some Jim Jones type stuff. That's 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 narcissism. And a lot of times part of the reason that you honor mentally ill people is because mental illness is a big thing in your community. I'm, I'm tripping off of these niggas who who started hella shit with a nigga. Niggas start shit. Niggas set the shit off. Feel me? Niggas get it bracket. Niggas start it. Kwame Brown is weak, woo, 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 sucker. Like, he ain't gonna hear it. And then when he defend himself, niggas, niggas is tripping. Niggas wanna fade. Niggas, niggas wanna fade with Kwame. You feel me? Niggas, niggas, niggas want him to stop talking. Charlemagne, the guy, jump in. You know, nigga with rape allegations. Nigga that barely escaped from rape charges on the minor. Jump in, talking shit. Then when niggas get on him, he sent them cease and desist letters. And, you know, leave me alone. I'm sorry. These niggas, man. And then Boyce Watkins jump in. Hey, jump, Boyce Watkins over there ain't got shit to do with nothing. Jump in just so he could jump in. And then when he get beat up for jumping in some shit, then niggas crying and shit. Boyce Watkins, man. And it, man, Boyce Watkins is a sucker, man. Then nigga went and got his teeth fixed, man. So it looked like it looked like he was going like nigga looked like he was going like this and shit. Nigga, nigga be talking and shit. Look like he gone. I'm like, man, when nigga, see that type of shit. Like when I see niggas, you know what I'm saying? Niggas say they this and that. So you gotta keep an eye on niggas. You gotta keep an eye on niggas. Niggas say they this and that and this and that and you all you gotta do is just look at a nigga right talk all that shit about all type of shit bitches talking shit about lizzo and all types of motherfuckers but you keep looking at a motherfucker 
and you see a motherfucker get a little paper, motherfucker go get the get the teeth fixed, get the get the veneers or some shit. Now a nigga look weird and shit. He don't even look. He don't even look. He don't even look like he did before. It look weird and shit. I noticed the shit. Like I, I'm like, man, this nigga, what the fuck is he doing? I feel like he. Uh, what the fuck? Always attacking real niggas, man. I don't know why Tariq fuck with that nigga like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I know Tariq, now she know he a motherfucking nerd. Y'all niggas that fuck with Tariq, that fuck with me, y'all niggas know that Tariq know that this nigga is a nerd. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you financial advice, but that nerd under there be, you know, is against real niggas, though. You feel me? That's that shit I don't like, man. I don't give a fuck if you're a nerd, but when you're against real niggas, that's some other shit. That's that bullshit. That's that That's that. Uh, real niggas took bitches from you, so now you're against real niggas. You know, some niggas, man, I be thinking, man, I be, I, I remember, uh, let me refer to the Republic, nigga. I know y'all niggas don't, y'all niggas don't like me talking about books and Socrates and shit, but let me play though. Let me refer to the Republic. I remember now, you know, I'm not going to. I don't prescribe to this mythology right here, you know. I'm I'm with I'm with I'm with Jesus in there. But this is an interesting what I'm finna lay out. From the myth of air. From the myth of air. You you Google this and Wikipedia that at, and, and look pull it up for yourself. The myth of air, E R, nigga. This motherfucker who got killed. And died and then woke up, right? And told his story, his after death story. And in that story, he said that motherfuckers, you know, from different walks of life had died and was here at this place. And then, based on the life that they live, they went to, like, a temporary heaven or hell for a thousand years, right? So that, so, so, so when they died, they came to uh, some stairs going down and some stairs going up. So the people who had, was good in their life, they went up for a thousand years. The people who was shitty in their life, they went down for a thousand years. And then they came out and then they had to pick new lives. They had to pick new lives. They got lots and they got to pick from all different types of lives. Animal and man, right? And based off of the past lives that they lived they made choices about the lives that they would choose they 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 made decisions about you know based off of how they lived before they 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 made decisions about how they was going to live now so there were individuals it was interesting to watch. Now, I, I want to compare this to what I think about Dr. Boyce Watkins. There were individuals who only did right because of the laws of the country that they lived in they was they was scared to break the law not that they was morally 
good. Like, not that they was like moral individuals and did everything right. They were individuals who did the right thing because they were compelled to by the law and were scared to break the law and never really had their character tested. You understand me? And they lived and died like that. So, when they got a chance to live again, the type of lives they chose. And then before they picked the lives, they got they got they got a bit of advice from the individual. Like I think it was the three fates or some shit like that that was presiding over the lots of lives before they picked. And they was like, before y'all pick, carefully consider the life that you pick. Don't be. Don't be in, you know, don't, don't be, you know, over eager. Be patient, pay attention, be wise about your selection. So the first lot came to an individual who lived, like I said, who was scared. He lived in a, in a, in a situation where the, he, he followed the law because he was scared. He was scared to break the law. Not that we, not that he was a moral person, but he was he was scared to break the law, right? So what he did was pick the greatest tyranny from among the lies. He went and picked like an emperor that was ruler over all, and his super. That's what that was his first motivation. And, and see, to me, that's a motherfucker like Boyce Watkins. You know what I'm saying? Who really, he really, he really, he really, he really want to be a real nigga. But he can't because he's scared. You feel me? And he against the real niggas. You know what I'm saying? And he got that bullshit in him. You understand me? Because you can see the little bullshit in it. You can see that little bullshit in it. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, nigga. Anyway, let me move on. Let me get off of this nigga. I don't want to stay on the nigga head, man. I don't want to stay on the nigga head. Another nigga in the news. I want to say um, um, shout out to Dr. Dre. He's he's finally single. I guess the divorce the papers then went through. Niggas is good out here. Niggas is uh, <clears throat> niggas is out here free. You know, ain't got to be. Ain't got to be creeping, ain't got to be tiptoeing around, and can be out in the open with bitches now, beautiful, shout out Dre Freedom, you understand me, uh, bless, you know what I'm saying, got, uh, I love, I, I hope this translate into some really good music, you know, been a minute since I've been, um, been, um, uh, captivated by some new dre like i really would like to be captivated by some dre shit to where he slapped the shit out of me and i didn't understand what i was hearing type shit last time he did that was 2001 the chronic 2001 when that um came out you know what i'm saying um um yeah shout out dre all right, another nigga in the news. Um, let me look right here, man. You know, I got to be looking at my list. So I'll be forget. Okay. Yeah. The Migos. 
The Migos album have dropped Culture 3. Culture 3, you know the boss, Mac, has been on Quavo motherfucking sucker head for a minute here and motherfucking Offset and them niggas. And the boss, Mac Topsoil, is here with the Culture 3 album review like a motherfucker. Let me tell you something. Now... First off, I want to say that the Boss Mac topsoil is non-biased. I am not here to hate on niggas unnecessarily. I am judging niggas. I'm judging niggas. You understand me? I'm judging niggas. As a real nigga, I judgeth. You understand me? I'm judging. I'm judging, nigga. Now, I want to remind niggas. I was at the first Complex Con here at the Long Beach Sports Arena. The first Complex Con. Shout out to my my, my bitch, uh, my homegirl, Casey, baby, to bless me to get up in that, man. Shout out to that bitch. I love that bitch. Complex kind. Migos came out and did bad and bougie for the first time. Bad and bougie for the first time. And I and when I heard it, when I heard it, I'm in there. I'm blowing Kush. When it came on, I was like, and Lil Uzi was not there, and I was like, that is a hit. You understand me? That, I don't know what that song is there, right there, right now. That, that is a hit right now. These niggas is hard. That's hard. Right? All right. They have not made me feel like that anymore. The Ric Flair cut with Offset, that was kind of, You know, that was cool, but the feeling, you understand me? Are y'all niggas with me right now? I want the feeling. Nigga, I was in the arena when Bad and Bougie came on for the first time. Them niggas live. The feeling... That's a hit. All right. Culture three, nigga. Now, you know, on Spotify, you know, I don't know. The Migos, the Central Mix came up. I don't know, man. It just came. I, you know, I didn't experience the true order of the album the way I was supposed to so the Drake song came first and then I was like okay The Drake joint is hard, right? 
But it's Drake. It's like a Drake song. Like, you feel me? Like, it's Drake. Okay, then I just go to the... I, I finally go to the album. So I can hear the, the correct sequence of the album. Starting with Avalanche. Okay. Avalanche. That's a A. That's a that's a good cut. I'm that's like a B. A B cut. Like a B. You feel me? Then you immediately go to the Drake. Immediately, immediately I'm hearing Drake on your album. Immediately I'm hearing Drake on your album. That's that's a hey man. To me, that's it's you know that's and then after that I think what was it uh Cardi B type shit niggas came with the type and then her verse was just really harder than everybody's. And then, man, like it's it's a lot of songs on there, man. But I'm I'm just keep it a buck, bro. Like, let's keep it a buck. I'm not hating. I'm not hating. I'm not hating, bro. Straightening, bro. Like, straightening. Um, what's the other shit? Um, why not? I'm gonna tell you, man. Listen, man. I, I can't say niggas is a failure. You know what I'm saying? I can't say that, but you know it, why not as bad and bougie part two? You feel me? Like and Hey man, I'm gonna tell you, man, I, I predict that Cardi B albums sell way more than theirs and um I don't know, man. I feel like it's like some fake hype, man. I seen these niggas got their own line and gear too, man. And niggas, niggas kind of look like clowns a little bit, man. Like I don't know, man. Um, see, I think you know what I think it is. I think what it is is we know that niggas took sucker L's right here, like niggas is. I thought Takeoff was going to save himself, but see, Takeoff looked like he been on drugs the whole time. Like, he been sipping lean while them niggas doing sucker shit with bitches. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. I just. And then, like. I, I, I feel like, it, I, you know. Academics posted they selling 134,000 copies first week. Man, I just I, I I feel like that's fake. That's not real. Like that's that don't seem real. Like I don't I don't know, man. Like I gotta bend some corners and see if I I I'm not feeling that energy. I feel like like I feel more blue face energy out here like I, I don't you know I feel more DDG blue face energy out here than that you know what I'm saying like I don't know man then um I see Kodak Black shoot his shot at at Cardi like he know like, I'm telling y'all niggas, man, look here, man. You know, I, 
Kodak Black shoot his shot at Cardi. I know y'all seen that. Put the sent the bitch some ice. You know what I'm saying? Like he know. See, man, it's it's it's. You gotta maintain, man. Marriage, marriage, marriage. Uh, look, even for a nigga like Offset, man. Even for a nigga like Offset, bro. You got to stay ahead of your bitch, bro. You got to stay ahead of your bitch. You got to. If you was ahead of your bitch, you got to stay ahead of your bitch. You can't let your. And it's not like you hate on your bitch and you impede your bitch. You know what I'm saying? Look, y'all y'all niggas fuck with me right now. Fuck with the ball smack topsoil what he spitting. It's great to have a bitch that's achieving and doing shit like you put a bad bitch on a team a bitch like cardi you put that bitch on your team as your this is my bitch okay you have to be like i gotta stay greater than this bitch without hating on her i gotta put i gotta stay great I gotta maintain a great ratio. If the bitch met me, if the bitch met me, and and you know I'm like the son to this bitch. I'm like, you feel me? I'm you know, I'm like this to this. I'm like this to this bitch, and she like this to me. You understand me? I gotta maintain that ratio. I gotta maintain that ratio. Even if we progress and we got, I got to maintain that ratio. Because if that bitch catch me and I can't hate, you can't hate on the bitch. You got to, you got to, niggas got to be great, bro. Niggas got to be great. Niggas got to be great. You got to be a great nigga out here, bro. You got to be a great nigga out here, man. You know. I hear all this high value man talking shit, man. You got to be a great nigga out here, bro. You can't let these bitches catch you. Now, look. See, Kodak done shot his shot at Barty. You feel me? Now, see, that's a, sh that's a, see, that's that, that's that delayed macking that I'm talking about. That's a seed planet. Let me plant a seed. Because I see that. Offset is going under. Probably heard some shit too. Cause niggas be privy to the information. Niggas is bull with Lil Yachty. Kodak bull with Lil Yachty. He probably know all niggas ain't. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Listen. I'm trying to tell y'all niggas, man, the game, it, 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 all right. Another nigga in a nose. Kanye West out and about with a new bitch on his birthday. Kanye West out and about. With a new bitch on his birthday. Shout out to the effort. Shout out to that nigga making an effort to show good face. Shout out to that nigga making an effort to show good face. But I am going to say this. The ball smack topsoil liketh not the body language. The boss smack top soil like a, not the body language. The boss smack top soil like a, not the body language. I can look at you and your bitch in a picture and tell the respect levels. I could look at you and your bitch walk in a room and sit down and I will know the respect levels. 
I could see a picture of you and your bitch. And I can know the respect level. I did not like the body language. But I like the effort. The bitch didn't have no ass either, you know. I would have preferred, like, when I told, like, when I, I know y'all niggas heard me. When Kanye first was going through the divorce, the ball smack topsoil said specifically, Kanye need to post up. In a, in a, with some real niggas and bitches. He need to, he need to be with a real ass bitch. You understand me right now? He need real ass bitch energy around him. They give a fuck. You understand me? You gotta. You got to get that real bitch energy around you to give a fuck. Now, see, the problem with that is that when a real ass bitch come into your circumference and she see the suckerism, it's, it's hard for a bitch to respect thou. You understand me? That's the thing. But what's needed is a real ass bitch that care to come in to stimulate a nigga because I the nigga is these that type of bitch is I don't think is good for right now. You rebuilding. You rebuilding. You understand me? You rebuilding. That's this is what I think. Y'all notice I'm doing my hands like this. It's, 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 you understand me? You know. Niggas, you know what? One of the first things, man, when when you rebuilding yourself, man, I really feel like when you're rebuilding yourself, you really got to get into some jogging, man. You got to get into some run. You got to run off some pounds, man. You got to run off some pounds. You got to inflict pain on yourself. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get into like a program. Of pain, discipline, um, refocus, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I think Kanye need to do. He need to refocus, get that right energy, man. That white bitch energy, like that. That that you know. That's not feeding into the essence. You you need that real ass bitch. To uh, feed into your essence to help you come back, man. I, that's just what I think, man. Like you just needed that energy around. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta have that energy around. You know what I mean? But anyway, uh, uh, Kim, 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 seeing a nigga. Kim seeing a nigga out with his new bitch just comes back with the uh, with the dangerous with the dangerous photo. See, bro, like you know what, man? Kim Kardashian been planning this all along, man. That bitch, man. That bitch had one real kid and then everything else surrogate to preserve the body. Her body is right on. <laughs> Her body. <laughs> at least, at least it Photoshop up like that. She is on point for the bounce back. She looks great, like, for this moment. When the nigga is gone and we're, everybody's gone and you're showing your bitch over there and, and then Kim just come back with the vicious. 
<laughs> oh, that bitch look great. That bitch look good. And it's an illusion. I know it's an illusion. It's an illusion like a motherfucker. I know it's an illusion. That bitch look great. I'm like, damn. Shout out to that bitch, though, man. All right. I think I've exhausted all the niggas in the nose. Where we at? I've exhausted all the niggas in the nose. All right. Reader, listener, emails. Uh, oh, you know what? I want to just uh, spit some game right quick, man. I wanted to tap in, man. Um, I wanted to spit some game because I, I feel like niggas is lacking in this area. I feel like niggas is lacking in this area. Even tough niggas. Even some tough niggas lack in this area. Niggas just could be real firm with niggas. Can be real firm with niggas, but they not tough in this area. And that is like, uh, how do I describe this? To be able to go from zero to 60 or to 100, zero to 100. And uh, turning up the volume of uh, zero to a hundred with your bitch. It, it when when in dialogue, like when 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 um, disrespect has happened, she has said something um, disrespectful to you or out of pocket. She didn't. She didn't. You know, she done crossed the line right here. That was a disrespectful thing she said. Now, see, a lot of times a nigga will be in a pleasant mood. A nigga be in a pleasant mood talking to a bitch, right? And and then a bitch might be having an attitude or whatever, mad about whatever, and then say some smart shit or some slick shit, right? And the nigga just let that shit go, like, like, not be able to, you know, step up the intensity right there and be like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to really be able to check a bitch, right, as soon as you hear some stupid shit. <clears throat> or to up the intensity of the conversation to say real shit to a bitch, whatever it is, the uncomfortable shit. You know what I'm saying? Saying real shit now. You know what I'm saying? You know. I remember one of the most important lessons that I got from my G-moms. My G-moms, who was a real motherfucker. Strong, real. She was a real ass bitch. My great grand, my, my, uh, my great grandmother, my grandmother, my, they all real ass bitches. My grandmother, right? She was like, listen up. Um, she was like, you know, sometimes, this is my grandmother told me this. She was like, sometimes, you know, your grandfather will just tell me to shut the fuck up. And you know, it's hard to take, but I just shut the fuck up. So you got to be able to tell a bitch to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You got to be able to say difficult things to bitches at certain times, bro, like. At the drop of a hat. As soon as you hear the bullshit, you got to be able to go, oh, that was some bullshit. Bitch, what you say? What? Hell no. Nah. Get the fuck out. Go home, bitch. You got to be able to say difficult shit to bitches. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be able to do it now. You got to be able to do it when you hear it. You can't be waiting and shit. 
You know what I'm saying? So I just thought I'd put that out there. Niggas in the motherfucking news. Why did I say niggas in the motherfucking news? Reader, listener, email. I did that on the last podcast. Niggas in the motherfucking news. And start read, doing reader, listener, email. Reader, listener, email. Reader, listener, motherfucking email. All right, here we go. A nigga from NYC writes the ball smack. Stop soil. He says, boss, Mac, I'm a nigga out here working hard and building my empire. Things are good paper wise. I had a vast staff of bitches on the team a few years ago. A nigga was arrogant and tripping. One bitch at the time really started to get needy and demanding. So I let her bounce. Years pass and I haven't been able to shake my thoughts about this bitch. I broke down and contacted her and pleaded my case. And I know she still loved me, but she gave me a lukewarm shoulder. She says she's in a situation and she's also leery of me, boss. Mac, I know I sound like a sucker, but what's the play to get this bitch back with dignity? Yeah. You know, um, when you interact with bitches, man, You can't never underestimate the impact that a bitch spirit and soul will have upon thee. You can you can you can you can discount some shit and be like, ah, oh, this just one of my bitches and I you know, just another bitch I'm fucking. Never underestimate it, man. Never underestimate it. Never underestimate it. Every bitch that you fuck, you have a spiritual connection with. Yes, indeed. It wasn't just you busted a nut and left. Spiritual connections. Yes, indeed. So... When a bitch afflict your spirit like that, when you get afflicted in the spirit, I always wonder about those types of things. I always think about those types of things. Like when a, a, a bitch just, you know, I fired the bitch. Then, you know, she just grow in my consciousness. I can't forget the bitch. Wonder what she doing. Whenever that happens, I'll be wondering if the bitches be on the other end doing something magical to influence that type of shit. I'll be like, where did that energy come from? The influence, you know, because it's very powerful. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, all I can say about that type of shit is, bro, when you inflict damage upon a bitch, bro. You got to stand on it. When you inflict damage on a bitch, you got to stand on it. You got to stand on it. Meaning, if you fire a bitch, if you fire a bitch, And then go back and look for her. You should expect the worst. You should expect everything. You should expect everything. You should expect everything. So to back that shit all the way up before you fire a bitch. Think about why you are firing a bitch. A lot of times, niggas niggas be arrogant as fuck, bro. Like, you know, 
niggas be feeling like I'm Superman out here, man. I'm God. Like, especially young fly nigga, man. Young fly nigga, everything working. Uh man, you uh man, you get up to ten, fifteen bitches real quick if you want to, right? Young fly nigga. You know what I mean? But bro, you can't double back, bro. You can't double back weak. You can't double back weak. You can't double back to a bitch weak. Does that, can you, you understand that? Do y'all niggas understand that concept? You cannot double back to a bitch weak. These are, these are the things you are facing with a contemporary regular bitch in this environment. <clears throat> If you double back weak, her homegirls, when she announced that the nigga who kicked her in her ass last year and had her depressed, has showed back up on, in love and shit, her friends are going to cheer her on to destroy you. On GP. Expect no quarter from a bitch, you understand me? No quarter. Bro, I, I highly suggest any nigga listening to me, man. Always deal with bitches from a position of of um of power and authority and indifference. Don't when you if you you know if you fire a bitch for whatever reasons, you know what I'm saying. You got to stand on it. You know what I'm saying. If it was if you firing bitches because they too much of cheerleaders, you know you should have been able to manage that. That's management. That's on you. You can turn. You can you can turn. It's easy to con bro. If a bitch. Is okay if a bitch is getting super needy and clean and all type of shit. <clears throat> you could easily you could easily run that to where it's like she fire herself. She either go along with it or fire herself. Now see. When a bitch fire herself, you know, it's easier to check back with a bitch if that make any sense. Cause you can be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Type shit. If she if a bitch fire herself, you could you could you could jump in the DMs a couple of months from now and be like, hey, you know, I'm just checking to see how you doing. You know, you stop talking to a nigga. You understand me? Cause she left. You could and then you could be like, oh, you know, I'm still fucking with you. You just left me. It's leverage. But when you fire a bitch, she mad. She more mad. And now you back in love, talking about love and shit, and you vulnerable and shit. Oh my god, nigga, bitches have no, it's no quarter, nigga, no quarter. I right. another nigga. Okay, but I will say this: uh, don't chase a bitch fall back now once you announced that that you was interested you announced that you was interested fall all the way back and and keep living life shining you know and, and see if she keep checking in but don't be going hey man i expect hey man I don't, that's not i don't know about that though like all right a nigga from Los Angeles writes the ball smack. He says, ball smack, I'm a nigga out here working hard, living my best life. I'm going to keep it a buck. I've been in a friend zone with a bad bitch for seven years. 
I was in the friend zone so long that I forgot that I was in the friend zone and started living. I have been in the friend zone with this bitch since college. I started working and getting money and adding bitches to the team. Now, I will admit I have some okay but solid bitches on the team. None of them is as bad as the bitch to put me in the friend zone. Now, about a month ago, me and the bad bitch is hanging out, then all of a sudden, a bad bitch, the bitch, me and the bitch was fucking. I was unprepared and did a shitty performance. I was worried about the impression I made, but she gave me another chance and I fucked the shit out of her. Now this bitch is pressing me to be my main bitch and dismiss all my bitches that I fuck with. How do I manage this situation right here? All right. <clears throat> so what you have is um You know, a lot of times this happened, I think. I feel like bitches be having high expectations for themselves. Like, I, you know, I'm a, a nigga from the NFL. Somebody, the NBA is, is going to check for me. Multi-million dollar nigga is going to snatch me up. Let me keep my open. Let me keep my options open. And shit on the regular niggas around them, right? Now, some niggas, you know, they really be, niggas really be in that romantic, hopeful shit and be like, there's something there. There's something there. There's something there. Let me, let me just hang in. Years. Watch the bitch fuck with other niggas. Break up. In and out of relationships with niggas that's superior to you. You hear about it. Because you're in the friend zone. Then after a while, you just go. Fuck. Let me start fucking with some bitches. And bitches like you. And you start having like four or five bitches. They regular bitches. But you having fun. You having fun. See now the bad bitch is watching you have fun. Right? You're having fun. Not so much attention on her no more. Not so much attention. You having fun over there. She call you to hang out. You you kind of you you know you 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 into your little regular bitches you you know you feel me I'ma say this man you know. To me, it's an insult for a bitch to give me some pussy and to think that that is enough for me to do a radical shift in my entire operation to accommodate a bitch because I promise you when you do that she will have asserted herself on top of you again in dominance right now she's under you 
if you believe it or not. She's under you now. But if you if you fire your bitches for her on the base of an ultimatum, she's going to be sitting back on top of your head, nigga. And I predict shit ain't going to last. So what you got to do is do the torture. You got to do torture now. It's got to be a torture process. You got to torture this bitch. It got to be a torture. It got to be a torture. Because the other bitches that held you down deserve, you know, respect and admiration. It is no way that a bitch should just be able to jump to the top because she decided to give you some pussy today. When these other bitches been in your corner, you understand me? So you got to be vigilant of how you move right here you got to be like okay i appreciate the pussy it was great let's see how shit progresses from here let's see how it go because by her receiving dick good dick she's transforming to another bitch now now it's another bitch it's another bitch now it ain't the same bitch you had before so, you gotta, you gotta, and now she's gonna be concerned about the other bitches. And you better, like, look at here, man. I can't just shut shit down like that. Either you're gonna work with me or you're not. Like, I'm trying, man. I can't just shut it down. You jump. I mean, I don't know if you sturdy. I don't know yet. We got to see. You got to see, man. You got to see, man. You got to. You can't just be. Bad karma, man. Like, to the other bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, been in your corner, man. Like, I said, you know. That's how I feel about it. Where we at? How much time we been going? That's enough. I think that's enough. You know, I be talking long than a motherfucker, man. I be talking long than a motherfucker. God bless y'all niggas, man. Thank you for coming out. The Top Mac Nigga Show is a Ball Smack Industries production. <laughs>